Hey everybody, good energy to you guys. Um, so this is a video specifically designed for Cyrax. Um, yesterday on Joy's stream, um, I noticed she listened to a voicemail that he had sent her, or he called her and left a voicemail, or, or maybe it's just a voice message, I'm not sure. But he was asking how to get rid of these trolls. <clears throat> And, um, you know, I just thought I'd go ahead and share my opinion. And if you happens to watch this, cool. If not, that's cool too. Um, but, uh, a troll. <clears throat> so, you know, these are characters that are looking to feed off of people who are willing to feed them. Um, so, I mean, it's a very simple equation. You just gotta stop feeding the troll. <clears throat> you know, you have to see them from their perspective. Is there... They're very clever too. They will pretend to be people that care about you. They will pretend, they will say things that flatter you. They will be fucking they're two faced. And this is how you know it's a troll or not because they'll say the flattering things and then they'll do things to create chaos, you know, and conflict, but also perpetuate the fact that there might be some semblance of care, you know, and maybe not even doing that. Maybe they'll just continue to say mean, nasty, negative things to you. But, you know, essentially, I feel like, especially somebody like Cyrax, you know, he should be able to, anybody can, but just, you know, use your energy and listen to your heart. Like, do these people, are they coming at you with things that are actually helping your life? You know, are the words that they're saying actually, you know, bringing about some goodness in you and coming from a place of heart and, and feeling and true care? Or are they just trying to say things to degrade you, to criticize you, to bring you down? You know, my whole thing on criticism is... You know, you know, it's one thing if you have a friend who's criticizing you because they feel like it's something you need to hear. But again, that's a friend, so that's somebody you also have a good relationship with. So there's a balance of, of goodness and, and criticism, which is, in a sense, breaking down somebody's spoken word. So it's, it's in a, the realm of destruction, but destruction is a part of life. So it's, it's good, you know, as long as it's balanced out with, with good. <laughs> So trolls aren't going to balance it out with good. They're just going to continue pushing shit in your face. And, you know, um, if you let your emotions get the better of you, or, or really, you know, if you let people's words stir up your emotions and you feed into their words, you're, you're feeding them. You're feeding the troll. <clears throat> so you got to stop feeding the troll. It's the same thing like when the enemy or, you know, any type of person tries to attack you, you know, you have to... Sure, you can attack them back, you know, and this goes into vengeance and retribution and perpetuation of violent cycles, you know, but that's all it's going to do. You're just going to continue to perpetuate that violence. You know, you can choose to not retaliate. You can choose to instead transmutate that situation with love. And let's say somebody calls you a piece of shit. You'd be like, all right, well, thanks for sharing your opinion, bro. Have a good day. Straight up. You know, that's what they feel. Cool. You got it off your heart. You just thank you for sharing, you know, because I mean, I think it's good. If that's how somebody really feels about you, let them express it. Fuck it. If they think you're a piece of shit, that's their opinion. You know, that's up to you to know if you really are a piece of shit or not. Not for somebody else to tell you. It's also a test to see how true you are to yourself. So you got to be able to stand on your own two feet and your own ground. So just don't let their words fuck with your head, is what I'm saying. And don't buy into their fucking games, because a lot of these people will just go on the internet and fuck with people who are reactive, who are intelligent, who have a particular creative essence. I'm just going to be real because they feed off of that and they're jealous of that. And there's a lot of jealousy out there. And Cyrax comes across as somebody who is able to create and does have some serious talents and passion and energy. And so people, trolls, vampires, there's lots of names for these things, will come and suck and feed. But again, it's also about you allowing them in. So you just can't continue to allow them in, which is in a sense engaging with them. Now, you can if you're able to, you know, but this is a very, <clears throat> you have to be careful because you, when you enter into the realm of engaging them, you try to do so from a position of trying to help transform them, you know, you're, you're upping the ante. So you're going to get hit with another troll that's even more powerful and more clever, and more deceptive. So just if you're going to try to, change them in a good way be prepared that it's only going to get probably even more challenging for you but that means that you're doing the right thing and you're putting up a good fight so it's also a good thing however you don't have to you can take a break and just chill and not even feed these trolls and just focus on you you know there's a time and place for everything so anyways um i love you i hope you have a good day all right bye